quick video I wanted to add to I just got done watching Elder Pastor's video on um, Amos 9:11 to 12 I wanted to add to what Elder Pastor said and he's right you know <laughs> I got carried away with you classics because you know hey we're defenders of the gospel you know when someone says something wrong you know we can't help it man we we just go into battle mode you know but I went back and forth with the guy for a while and then after a while I was like, hey, forget this dude man but you know it's, it's good to be that way because it keeps us sharp it keeps us you know it keeps us in the battle you know and that's where we want to be there's no other place to be but in the battle you know so but um a little pasta is right you know we got it sometimes you got to nip that in the bud anyway that being said um what I want to do is, man, I was looking at Amos 9, 11, and 12, and, man, the Holy Spirit something else, man, because, uh, hold on, let me uh, bring it up for you, brothers. Now, clearly, you see here, it says the restoration of Israel. Like I said, I don't want to make this video long, not at all. It says, in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David. And, you know, the building, like I put in the comment here, the building of the tabernacle of David really started with David himself, which was Peter. Okay, because I put a, a comment here. I'm just going to read the comment. When when did the building of the tabernacle of David start? It? Answer. It started when Apostle Peter David started the ministry as the head apostle of the rest of the apostles, appointed by our Lord Yahweh Shai. Now remember what Yahweh Shai told, told Peter. He said, upon you, I'm going to build my church. Now all the works that Peter did, going back more than 2,000 years ago, it carries on to today. Remember the scriptures say, and their works do follow them. Remember, that's in Revelation. So all the works that Peter did laying the groundwork, if you will, for this tabernacle of David. And it makes sense because Peter, back in his past life, was David. So it makes sense that Yahweh Shai appointed him to help build this tabernacle of David pursuant to Amos 9.11, right? Where it speaks about this tabernacle of David. So to finish the comment, I put, and I, well, I put the scripture, Matthew 16 and 18, Thus began the building of the tabernacle of David. And now we are here to finish it. And it, it re, the building started again with Abba Bivens, and then later King Marsha, High Priest Arya, High Priest Yaquab, and later, you know, us elders and apostles, begin with Elder Pasatar on down. Okay, we are here to finish building this tabernacle of David so our Lord can come, right? Yahweh Shai, that is, right? Okay, so... So that's when it started. It started with Yahweh uh, Shai appointing Apostle Peter to help build this tabernacle of David, because Peter indeed was David. Now, going back to Amos, right? In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David, so I, we already explained that, excuse me, that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof. And that job was reinstituted again when Abba Bivens came on the scene, right? And I will raise up and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. That's happening right now with us brothers, right? We understand that. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. Now, Apostle Taha says that that's talking about the lands, and he's correct. He's right on that. But when you go into this word remnant now, okay, in the Hebrew there, which we're taught to do, we're taught to go into the Hebrew, the Greek, and the Latin, right? It starts actually with the Edomites themselves beginning with the top banking families, there will there would be this remnant of Edom left. Because remember, and I'm gonna go into the scripture, when when Yahweh Shai comes, he's gonna destroy a lot of Edomites. And we're gonna read the scripture, right? Let's take a look at this word remnant. Okay, remnant. Uh, and I, I um I'm gonna read the Hebrew. Remnant Sha'arayaf. Sha'arayaf. That is the word for remnant, right? The Hebrew word. It says rest, residue, remnant, what is left, remainder, descendants. Descendants. So, the remnant of Edom that's going to be left will start with these top banking families. These top Edomites. And we're going to see that in the scriptures. We're going to see that in Psalms 149, bind their kings. We're also going to see that in Isaiah 24 throw them in the pit. That's going to start with the top. What, what did the scripture say? It says, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. So the first of Edom is going to be last. They're going to be on the bottom. This is this remnant of Edom. 
it starts with them that the scripture is talking about. Then it filters to the lands. That's why I said this video is to add to what Apostle Tar said. Okay, it starts with, and um, um, the Edomites possess the land. So if we possess the Edomites, starting with their top banking families, we're going to possess everything that they have, including their lands. Right? So the Hebrew word there again is Sha'ar Rayaf, which means descendants. Now check this out. When you read down here, Strong's definitions, it says that had escaped because you're going to have, even though Yahushua is coming with this great destruction brought upon the Edomites, there's still Edomites that's going to escape because Yahweh is going to make them escape so they could be captured and tossed headfirst into slavery. <laughs> and that's the top Edomites, if you will. It starts with them, okay? Uh, that had escaped, be left posterity. What up? What up, posterity? Those are individuals. This goes far beyond the land, okay? Remain remnant residue, right? So the remnant of Edom starts with the Edomites themselves, starting with the top banking families, if you will. Uh, let's get, now, let's get the book of Isaiah 63. We know that Yahweh is coming with a great destruction to the Edomites. Let's prove it. Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that coming from Edom? With 